accelerator is quite an unusual animal because uh, when people ask the question, what do we do? We're quite an unusual combination. We're a developer when we need to be, so we will buy stuff in that's already on the market and that's absolutely fine, there's no point in reinventing the wheel. But quite often, because we have government clients with mission critical applications, they'll sometimes come up with request, requests that um, can't be satisfied unless we actually develop a product for them. So we will fulfill that as part of what we do. Uh, we're a very competent integrator of very large government systems, sometimes national. Um, a lot of what we do, and certainly in the beginning, was command vehicles for the emergency services, etc. So we've got a significant market share of that market. We don't build vehicles, we're the tech provider. The vehicles, frankly, are just the transportation of, of the tech that's needed to fulfill their, their requirements and the applications. Um, so we're really, really good uh, integrator. Um, we support everything ourselves, so we don't third party that out. We always believe in keeping everything in house, so end to end, sell stuff integrated, look after it through the lifetime of the contract. And then we also describe ourselves as being a network operator. So we might be a virtual network operator. Some, sometimes on some of our satellite networks with some of our customers, we're literally a virtual network operator where we will buy the capacity, we'll contract that satellite capacity for a few years, depending on the length of the contract, for specific requests. And in some cases, we'll spot buy because we don't need to have that kind of uh, overhead and, and that kind of responsibility. Um, but we, we match services, we're quite, uh, I would say the ethos of the business is that uh, we try to remain tech and network agnostic. And it's not just satellites, so for instance, every one of our command vehicles that I can think of, they all have their own 4G networks, uh, which we built for them and installed on their vehicles. So it's a private 4G network. So that, and we've always been saying for, I mean, we've been going 23 years now, and certainly for 21 years, we've been um, providing what we call hybrid connectivity. So it, hybrid's a, an overused term now, it seems like everybody's using it, but we've been providing hybrid connectivity for 21 to 23 years. But of course the tech's changed, so in 21 years ago it would be, it would be satellite blended or combined with GSM. There was no 4G uh, around 21, 23 years ago. Now of course it's 4G and 5G and it doesn't matter to us. Whatever comes along, um, we will blend it and we'll manage it. So, you know, what's happening in the marketplace with Leo and with Starlink coming along quite disruptive, that doesn't bother us at all because we've, we've developed technology that will marry Starlink with other bearers, other services, and actually make Starlink perform better with greater resilience and will also take care of some of the security questions that might uh, be surrounding some of those products as well.